719 developing news out of Norfolk. Another business is now taking the city to court. This comes after the revocation of their permit to operate late night. 10 on your side's Brett Hall joins us. So Brett, this is the third business to take the city to court, right? Yeah, first we had Legacy Lounge, then California Burrito, now Scotty Quicks. Now all those businesses I just named are a part of Norfolk's downtown entertainment district. All those businesses have had their ability to sell alcohol and have entertainment late night revoked by the city of Norfolk, Norfolk City Council. Really, they voted on all of these, and it all happened from the beginning of September till now. In a 27-page suit, attorneys for Scotty Quicks are not only calling for a judge to order the city's action null and void, but also at least $1 million in damages. Now, Norfolk City attorneys argued that Scotty Quicks' meal tax payments did not match up with what they should have been when looking at their report to Virginia's Alcohol Beverage Control Authority, Virginia ABC. City attorneys said they weren't sure which one was wrong, but city council voted to revoke their permit 5-2 anyway. The suit argues the revocation violated city council's own policies and procedures for how to deal with tax issues. They say it was just an excuse to further their goal of targeting certain businesses and their clientele. Now, also in the suit, we've learned some new things about who else the city was looking into. We did now learn Baxter's, uh, all the waterside restaurants were also, their MBAR reports were also pooled. But what in a separate filing, the attorneys for Scotty Quicks are asking for all Norfolk City Court judges to recuse themselves because of the relationship between Councilwoman Courtney Doyle and her husband, who is a Norfolk City Clerk judge. Now, he has not heard any of the previous cases, right. but they are arguing that just because of the relationship there, there could be uh, conflict. So uh, this is not due to be heard at this point until January. So this is not ending anytime soon. Peeling back so yes. many layers with each report and all of that paperwork. That is fascinating, Brett. Thank you. Thank